like where where is that that beer that they wanted it was like a ginger beer little did i know the ginger beer is a non-alcoholic beverage and it was over where the soda was whoops <music> everybody it is sunday june 7th at 6 18 a.m and we're on our way to a ghost kitchen called gluten-free italian kitchen let's see what happens and if anything spooky occurs at the ghost kitchen i don't know why but i have a feeling that this restaurant's going to be closed it's an italian restaurant it's normally only open for dinner and so something tells me we're going to end up with probably just three dollars after i contact uber we're about to find out here. That order has been canceled. The restaurant is obviously closed and we got our $3. Now let's go drive back home. We now it's going to take us a total of 4 miles to get this $3. So we got three dollars for four miles a fun tip if you get a if you're working early in the morning and you see a ghost kitchen come up and you don't recognize it as being a breakfast place don't accept it <laughs> learn from my mistake don't accept it unless you recognize it could be an ihop or a denny's or someplace you know is open early in the morning 7 34 a.m I went and I got uh, gas from the gas station and uh, just hung out at home for probably about a half an hour. It was It's really slow, slow this morning. And now I'm just going to head over to Starbucks and pick up that order. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. It just seems like everybody maybe is hung over from all the 4th of July festivities. So it just seems like not much is going to be going on much at all. So, well... Let's just, on, let's just cruise on over to Starbucks and just make whatever little bits of money we can today. I have a feeling that the order is going to be ready. It's so quiet. I doubt there's going to be even anybody at the Starbucks. It'll probably be pretty, pretty empty. everybody turn right well yeah the starbucks looks pretty empty i'll be curious to see if the order is turn actually going to be turn ready or not sometimes they all get to chatting in there and even when it's really slow the order isn't ready because they're too busy chatting away we'll find out when we get in there Feeling a little bit discombobulated this morning. An offer came in for eight miles, and I think the money was right as far as accepting it, but for some reason I declined it. And uh, I think I'm getting kind of like, uh, well, it's Sunday, so I think I'm getting just a little bit, um, still a little bit groggy. Because it's a Sunday morning. Maybe I'm just not as alert. And I, had, I was trying to think about my strategy for today, which is trying to do a minimum of $6 and not do any $5 offers today. But um, I don't know. And I, you know, I always just debate things back and forth in my mind, just trying to figure out what's the best strategy for the day or whatever my objective is that I want to do. I kind of want to take it easy today and not do anything too too uh too stressful or whatever it's sunday i kind of probably just being mellow but um i don't know i don't know what what ultimately i'm going to be doing like first i was like maybe i just won't even do any shopping today 
just to take a break and just chill out, just pick up like coffee orders or whatever. But um, yeah, then that offer just came in that was for eight miles, and I was like, oh, and I was like, my mood, my mood was I don't want to drive far or deal with going far. So eight miles would be kind of far, would take me, you know, outside of the zone. So maybe that's why I didn't take it. All right, we're almost there. All right, the gates are opening up. Let's head on side in and uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this drop off nice and easy. I think it's already almost a hundred degrees already. Holy smokes. Turn left on Driftwood Side Avenue, then drop off on the left. <sighs> Alright guys, well, this stop sign here I'm gonna be making a left-hand turn. Drop off on the left. Alright, we have we're almost there. Just gotta Make a U-turn right here and turn around. Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm just going to park it here and we'll start dropping it off. My camera was malfunctioning and I wasn't able to get my shot of the uh, of me walking to the door but whatever it's all good I was having that problem yesterday with the with my phone sometimes when I slam the car door it does that and it turns everything off and then you can't even see uh, me walking to the door to drop it off so uh, something's coming in, $11.06, 14.3 miles now. So I wasn't able to uh, get that. I have to remember to not slam my door. Even if it makes like a slight shutting of the door, it, act, it triggers the camera to either start recording or stop recording. Uh, there's, no, there's no setting that I could find on the phone that can turn that feature off. So, And I don't know why. It, sometimes it'll do it and sometimes it won't. Nine dollars and four cents, fourteen point three miles. No. Okay, everybody. Next stop is going to be Vons, and we're going to be doing a little bit of shopping, and then uh, we'll be dropping it off. We're going to get about six dollars and fifty-two cents, so it's not too bad. Let's head on over there and get some shopping done. All right. Well, looking at the uh, shopping list, I don't see anything here that's hard to get or weird or unusual or hard to find so it looks like a pretty standard one so let's get on in there okay look at this cart Gotta head on over. I gotta pick up some of these, uh, some of these hot dog buns. Yeah, just gotta come on in here and get the uh, hot dogs. Good. All right, that. and then they got the flour tortillas. Oh man, there's something wrong with these hot dog buns. Go get another one. Now I gotta go all the way back to where the hot dog buns are because those hot dog buns were damaged. Oh no, heavy whipping cream. I gotta get 
some uh, milk. That in the cart. And the pizzas. Uh -huh. Get a couple of pizzas. Uh, and uh, some cottage cheese. I think that's it. I think I got everything. Get out of here. Somebody opened these two pizza boxes, so now I gotta go back and get pizza and find boxes that haven't been opened by somebody. Well, nothing went right in that delivery. I can't believe those hot dog buns. Somebody decided to stab their fingers into one of the hot dog buns and then just set it there back on the shelf like that was okay. I made sure to, I set it somewhere unusual and I flipped it upside down so that way people in there would know something, you know, somebody had touched it or something. Hopefully they will look at it and not just place it back again. Cause nobody's gonna wanna buy that. I'm sure someone's gonna accidentally buy it, you watch. But not me, that's not gonna mess up my tip. And then, uh, the pizza boxes, could you believe those pizza boxes were just open? I was like, wow. And I should have known. They were, I thought, they, because when I saw them, they were just sitting there. All I had to do was open up. They weren't like stacked with the other pizzas. They were just the perfect two that I wanted that were just sitting there in front of the glass when I opened the door. And I just thought it was what you would call serendipitous. I thought, wow, this is great. This is just, I just got to grab them, throw them in the cart. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. So, nope. And, um, yeah. And then I got to the, uh, the cottage cheese. And it was, they have a whole different section for cottage cheese. They have a, a, a whole case for milk and creamer and whipped cream. They have a whole case for that. Then they got a whole case for yogurt and cheese in another aisle. But the cottage cheese is... In another, in another case, uh, at an end cap, and so I couldn't see it, and I kept going back and, back and forth, up and down, where the yogurt and the, um, the yogurt was, and the cheese, and I'm like, where's that cottage cheese? I'm like, it should be here where the cheese is. And you know, you go to all these different stores so often, and they position everything different, so you get, after a while, you start to get your wires crossed as far as where everything's at. Just depending on whatever store you're in. So, anyway, four more minutes, 2.3 miles. Got to mention at the cash register, the cashier uh, almost rang up my pizzas with another customer's order and he got so mad at her. <laughs> and there was nothing I could do because she had no, uh, you know, those little divider bars. She didn't have any for me to, to grab, so I couldn't separate my order from that other person. So I was just throwing my stuff on the conveyor belt <laughs> and, and so she wasn't paying attention and she moved my pizzas over and started ringing them up with his order and then you could tell she was so mad like she didn't want to even talk to me when it was my turn to check out <laughs> welcome to sunday everyone and i almost lost my doordash shift i had 58 seconds remaining faded into the hood and now we just gotta figure out where it's at. It's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a meet at the door. And uh, usually when they say meet at the door, it usually means they're not gonna show up. <laughs> and then when it says leave at the door, it means they're gonna surprise, they're gonna open the door and wanna hand, be handed the groceries. So you never know what you're gonna get. It's always a surprise, but According to the app, it's a meet at the door. And we've got just about 500 more feet and it's gonna be on the left-hand side. And let me pivot the camera a little bit so you can see better. So we're gonna be coming up on this stop sign here and then it's gonna be the second house on the left, I believe. Let's see here, uh-huh. Let's see, make sure the addresses match up. Do your due diligence, everyone. Make sure your addresses match up. I'm just gonna park right here. All right, I'm taking it in.
Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Great, today? how are you? Doing okay. Good, good. Pizza All right. I just got one more bag here for you. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Safe, All right. Will do. Thank you. All right, gang. We're going to be heading off to Target. I think they're giving us like $9 to shop for two items. It's like, oh, $9.04. Two items. It's only 2.2 miles, so it's not that far away. Um, let's take a look at the shopping list next and see just how painful this is going to be. I bet you it's going to be um, makeup. How much do you want to bet? <laughs> how much do you want to bet we're dealing with makeup? Okay, we're dealing with a Kristen S. In Shower Smoky Topaz Hair Toning Gloss. Oh yeah, that'll be easy to find. Not. And then we're going to be looking also for the uh, Mix, Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon Eau de Parfum. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, let's see if we can find these two items. Let's get this cart going. I think I'll first look for that hair dye. I think it's this one. Yep, this is it. Okay, now where is that perfume? Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> it's not going to be in the grocery section. Here it is. Is this it? Uh, this isn't it. It's the wrong. It's the wrong one. Nope. Oh, this is it. Okay, we made it to the car. Let's get the heck out of here. Well, this is just gonna be a uh, leave at the door, so it's not gonna be too bad. And those perfumes didn't, um, they were hard to tell which one was which, but I got it figured out. Right here. Oh, it's deep in there. Got still a little bit ways to go. Try to let you see the houses. There you go. Yeah. So everything was fine for the shopping. I it's only two items, so I got a little bit thrown on the. Um, <laughs> I got a little thrown on where the perfume was. I mean, I knew where perfume was, but it kept saying it was like aisle. A52, which, which, the, I went all the way, I thought they would just keep going, the, the numbers, but no, the actual, um, I don't know, the wall of the building was actually aisle 52, <laughs> which isn't really an aisle, it's like a wall, but they called it an aisle 52. All right, it's coming up here on the right, let's see, oh, is it this one, no, is it this one, yes. Okay, here we go. Let's drop this off. looks like I'm getting a lot of positive response from the latest style of video that I'm doing. You know, where I kind of make a lot of jokes and stuff and comment on things. So that's kind of cool. I'm glad to see that that's having the same, some, um, it's getting some results because that means that that's, that's the right direction to go in as far as adding some humor to the videos, which is awesome. So, uh, but you know, I'm also getting some, some comments about bringing back some of the more, um, uh, what is it the more relaxing aspects of it too so now I'm trying to do a little bit of both but I'm glad to see that it's attracting more people to the uh, channel nine dollars and two cents for 21 miles now all right everybody well we're wrapping up the video and you can see the amount of money we've made above and you can see all the stats and everything so you can see it was a very uh, slow day 
and we didn't exactly do anything like we've done in the previous days but eh, it's okay and um, yeah I would say overall it was it was a mellow day we're just kind of just hanging out and uh, we did some shopping and nothing too stressful happened it was a, it was other oh wait, there was the, that pizza those pizza boxes and that um, that hot dog bun that was damaged but other than that other than that it was it was fine so um, yep thank you all so much for watching the video once again and uh, I will see you again on tomorrow's video take care bye for now